Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, week eight of our lockdown by my calculations um, and time for another draw along. This week we're going to draw birds in the same pattern building Zentangle style we've been working on. And when I think about birds um, in that kind of Zentangle pattern style, I always think of folk art um, and being from Western New York, Western Pennsylvania area, um, obviously highly influenced by Pennsylvania Dutch folk art. Uh, so we're gonna be working in that style a little bit. I'll show you some examples and we'll work on some birds. Um, please remember to hashtag may you create when you post your birds so that we can all see them. Uh, and if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to do next or if you're ready to um, do a different medium, add some color, let me know. All right, guys, let's get going. So I have um, a couple examples of Pennsylvania Dutch. I don't have a ton. Um, you could probably uh, Google it and um, get a... a see a, a lot many examples of traditional Pennsylvania Dutch um, folk art. This is a decorative painting book I picked up secondhand from some flea market or um, old bookstore. I, I have a tendency to find things like that that I enjoy the book. So uh, I was going through it. This, this bird is very uh, Pennsylvania Dutch influenced. Uh, one of the birds, one of the motifs they use quite a bit, birds um, represent um, rejoicing because of their, they're usually songbirds. Um, they also are seen a lot in Pennsylvania Dutch um, designs for wedding gifts, uh, quilts given to a bride, obviously with the two birds and the heart, um, renewal, the spring theme, new start type of concept there. So so birds play really prevalently in the Pennsylvania Dutch folk art. Folk art is art created by a non-artist and it depicts the daily life of the creator. So today again I have my copy paper, I have my 2B pencil, I have my sharpie pen, and I have my ballpoint pen. I have these little paper plates here so we'll use those to Draw a circle to start with. You can use anything. You don't have to use anything. Um, it just helps. Last time when I did the flowers, I thought I knew where they'd end up, and I did not. So I thought this time we would start with a better plan. Um, I'm just going to start here with... I'll just put the bird's head here. Um... We're just going to start trying to draw. And, and I usually make chunky birds. I don't know why. I think they look more like kids, maybe. Um, and birds can be really any way you want them. You Google them to see if there's a specific type of bird that you're interested in drawing. So the fun thing with birds is, you know, their their feathers, um, their tails, their head feathers. You can really do anything that you want with them. There's no, especially in this type of drawing, non-representational drawing. You can really just have fun. So we could do some fun feathers that follow our circle. And we could do some um, 
fun feathers up here too on the head. Make this look like a very regal bird or a little bit like a chicken. <laughs> Um, so then we have to decide, obviously birds can't just stand or float. They have to be on something and since his wings out and not out, he's not flying. So I'm going to give him some little feet here. That will help us determine where our branches are going to be. Um, so part of the Pennsylvania Dutch and folk art um, style is that it is highly stylized and it, it's a lot of pattern. They're usually um, full of different motifs. So we did flowers last time. There'll definitely be some flowers and some foliage again in um, the folk art style. So we're going to go ahead and just give this guy a little branch to stand on. Let me just tuck that in here. We might even make it come off the page. So, it doesn't have to be substantial at this time. We can figure some of that out later. I haven't planned through this, so you're gonna have to just kind of hang with me and we'll see where we get. This could be great. It could be lacking. So now, really, since we're focusing on the bird, we're going to go back in here and concentrate on the bird a little bit. Firm up some of these lines. I don't want to do too much, but we certainly want to be able to see what we're working on. So, um, and... We want to fix this neckline here. Since we have a regal bird, he probably needs a beautiful collar. And we can do some feathers. At this point in the drawing, you can either leave the bird with big shapes and fill it in with bold color as a traditional Pennsylvania Dutch design would be, or as I'm doing here, you can fill it in um, with some Zentangle patterns that are fun and lively. Once I finish filling in the bird, I fill in some of the other elements with some fun um, patterns and designs. I must apologize, I ran into some technical difficulties with this video and it ends a little bit quicker than I wished it had. Uh, please remember to hashtag your artwork with May You Create. Um, share this with your friends and with other people that have um, been stuck at home too long and might be looking for something else to do. And I will see you next Monday.